What up? It's Snowflake, and I'm going to show you uh, how to use DVD Studio Pro over a series of tutorials that I'm going to create, and this is tutorial number one, all right? And the first tutorial that I'm going to do is on compression, and I'm actually, the whole series is going to be compression, building DVD menus, authoring, and then burning, okay? But this is going on compression, all right? And there's two parts to this, and this is part one, all right? So, with the invention of HD video, which is so brilliantly, magnificently beautiful in its HD quality, uh, that's not going to actually be HD on a standard definition DVD. DVDs are standard definition, they're not HD. So what we have to do is actually take that HD video and compress it to a 720 by 480 dimension. Okay? Standard definition. I'm going to show you how to do that with compressor first. So. We're going to go find our HD video, and I have it in my export folder under QuickTimes HD, and I'm just going to create a DVD for Roommates, which is a web, episode, web series thing that I'm involved with. So I'm going to drag this over here, dump this in here, okay, all right, now we're going to go to Compressor. So i got all my videos in here. Now what I'm going to do is I have already created a setting for this, and I'm going to show you what those settings were, but in my settings box here my window, I have one called ProRes LTSD DVD, all right? And this is what it looks like. Uh, in the encoder tab, I have the video settings. These are enabled and the audio settings are enabled and the streaming is none and I don't really pay attention to the rest of it. <coughs> um, in the settings, we have it set to Apple ProRes 422LT because all we're doing is we're taking the HD video and turning it into an SD QuickTime. That's the first step of the compression process, okay? So that's uh, Apple ProRes 422 LT. And then the audio I have set to AAC, all right? The rate is 44.1, and I have a normal quality, and the target fit rate is 128, okay? And that's for my audio. I'll hit okay, and then I'll go down here and show you the rest of the settings. Uh, frame controls I have off. We're not really messing around with that. Uh, and then I'm gonna jump over to this one here, and this is the geometry tab. And this is basically where I change the dimensions from what was 1920 by 1080, my HD dimensions. I'm going to change that to a standard def uh, frame, right? So the frame size is 720 by 480. And then the pixel aspect ratio is NTSC CCIR, CCIR 601 DB 16.9. And that's so when you export it, it's not a square, but it's actually HD. It's actually 16.9 widescreen uh, format not HD, widescreen. Okay, so that is all the settings for that export setting. All right, now I'm going to take this, and compressor is gonna ask me probably, no? Okay. Yeah, ask me. Don't worry about that, that's just because I went in there and was changing stuff, hit okay. I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna drag this onto my uh, videos. All right, these are my quick times. Um, and I'm gonna select all of them, and I'm going to choose my export location. I'm going to do that by going to Target, Destination, and Other. All right, it's going to bring up my uh, browser, and I can go and find my export location, which I do the export folder. And then because these are going to be standard definition quick times, I'm going to go Export, Quick Times, and my SD folder, and hit Open. Okay, and then uh, once you've done that, and those settings are in there, all you got to do is hit Submit, and Submit again, and one more time. And there we go. Then you'll notice over here in the history that the it is stock it is started processing, and it's basically going to compress those HD quick times into standard definition quick times. Then on the next tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to do is take those standard def uh, quick times, and I we're going to actually compress them into the DVD files that DVD Studio Pro needs in order to burn uh, a DVD with these videos. Okay, so that's going to be the next tutorial. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to like the video and comment on it and then like subscribe to my YouTube channel, maybe, okay? And then check back later because I'm always putting up tutorials and tips, Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, Compressor, and now DVD Studio Pro. And uh, check back later also for the next step in this series about DVD Studio Pro. That's right. Come back.